All right, moving on to other news where plans to relocate families living in flood-prone regions in Migori County are underway. Migori County government says the exercise aims to mitigate effects of natural disasters. The affected families, however, want a permanent solution that will cushion them from the harsh climatic conditions which have subjected them to immense suffering. Speaking while distributing relief food to over 200 affected families, Ligori County Governor Dr. Chiloayako said the county government was working on resettling those who are hard hit by the vagaries of climate change. Over 500 families were displaced from their homes when rivers Kuja and Obuare broke their banks, flooding villages, building mud barriers and leaving a trail of destruction. We have the constraints of resources, but we are under duty to intervene whenever our people are negatively affected. In the meantime, agricultural stakeholders in Kakamega County are calling on the national and county government to create a board that will examine and control the fertilizer sold to farmers. Kuna gap ambayo tungependa serikali itusaidie so that hii mbolea yenye inauzwa kwa inauzwa kama imefunguliwa na pia wale wanauza mbolea kushi Shirika kama ilo regulator body yo inaweza kutusaidia kukontrol. Elsewhere in Narrow County, a section of Matatu operators now want the government to reduce the cost of fuel as it will force them to hike fares. The operators say they are considering a 50 shillings hike for every route if the situation persists. <laughs> And residents of Thika in Campbell County have been warned to be extra cautious when buying milk and liquor from unauthorized persons. Thika Law Court Senior Resident Magistrate Frederick Kome issued a caution while supervising the destruction of toxic milk and illicit brews in Witavia and Kisi estates in Thika. He said the suspects who have pleaded guilty to the crimes were fined between 60,000 to 100,000. Shillings. This is a health hazard and I would want to urge uh, people to comply with the law and not to sell um, you know, uh, adulterated milk to unsuspecting members of the public. Jacqueline Masharia for Easy Friday.